Hello everyone and welcome to my second video. For today's video I'm bringing you a bookshelf tour. Now I did film this tour back in about April I believe it was, however life got in the way and I very quickly got over the editing process for this particular kind of video so it didn't get uploaded and then since then I've had many books come into my possession and because I film everything on a tablet at the moment, the logistics of refilming everything to add these new books just wasn't worth it to me. So here is old footage of my bookshelves, but I still hope you enjoy it more than I enjoyed the editing process. Okay, bookcase number one, shelf number one. This entire bookcase is just generally filled with my favourite books, or books that I know I'm really going to like. The first book we have, Go the Fuck to Sleep by Adam Mansbach and illustrated by Ricardo Cortez. The Kingdom of Little Wounds by Suzanne Cockle, Because You'll Never Meet Me by Leah Thomas. On the Jellicoe Road by Melina Machetta, What's Left of Me, Once We Were, and Echoes of Us by Kat Zhang, A Spell for Chameleon by Pierce Anthony, The Outsiders, That Was Then, This Is Now, and Rumblefish by S. He Hinton, The Hobbit, and The Fellowship of the Ring by J.R. Tolkien, The Giver Quartet by Lois Lowry, The Sacred Lies of Minnow Bly by Stephanie Oates, Miss Peregrine's Oath, Peculiar Children by Ransom Ricks, the Host by Stephanie Meyer, The Archive by Victoria Schwab, The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green, The Thirteenth Tale by Diane Setterfield, Henry Le Chatignor by William Brandon. Moving on to the second shelf, The Final Empire, The Well of Ascension, and The Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, the illustrated edition, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows by J.K. Rowling, The Assassin's Blade, Throne of Glass, Crown of Midnight, Heir of Fire, Queen of Shadows, and A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Maas, A Thousand Nights by E. K. Johnson, Glory of Exiles by Melina Machetta, The Letter for the King by Tonke Drucht. Moving on to the third shelf, The Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins, Poison Study, Magic Study, Shadow Study, Night Study, Storm Glass, Sea Glass, Spy Glass, Touch of Power, Scent of Magic, and Taste of Darkness by Maria V. Snyder, Poison Princess, and Endless Night by Cresley Cole, The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak, Daughter of the Forest, Son of Shadows, Child of Prophecy, Heir to Seven Waters, Seer of Seven Waters, and Flame of Seven Waters by Juliet Marilio. Name of the Wind and The Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss. And finally, the last shelf on my first bookshelf is made up of all my really big series. Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, Breaking Dawn, and The Short Second Life of Bree Tanner by Stephanie Meyer. Divergent, Insurgent, and Allegiant by Veronica Roth. The Glittering Court, Vampire Academy, Frostbite, Shadow Kiss, Blood Promise, Spirit Bound, Last Sacrifice, Bloodlines, The Golden Lily, Indigo Spell, The Fiery Heart, Silver Shadows, and The Ruby Circle, all by Michelle Mead. Okay, moving on to Bookshelf 2. This particular shelf, the top shelf, is mostly for my classics. There are a couple of graphic novels and other random things up there as well. Sandman on Nebus Volume 1, 
and The Dream Hunters by Neil Gaiman. The Animals of Farthing Wood by Colin Dan. The Life of Pi by Jan Martel. To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. The House of a Thousand Lanterns by Victoria Holt. The Mermaid in Chelsea Creek by Michelle T. Dracula by Bram Stoker. Pride and Prejudice. Northanger Abbey. And Mansfield Park by Jane Austen. The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. And The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. The Water Babies by Charles Kingsley. Pay It Forward by Catherine Ryan Hyde. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. Little Women. And Good Wives by Louisa May Alcott. Black Beauty by Anna Sewell. Peter Pan by J.M. Barry. The Call of the Wild by Jack London. The Wind in the Willows by Kenneth Graham. The Adventures of Robin Hood by Roger Lancel and Green. The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett. A second copy of The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. And Anne of Green Gables by L. M. Montgomery. Okay, moving on to shelf number two on the second bookshelf. This is my Vampire Night shelf. It's very easy to see, so I'll quickly go through this one. Vampire Night Volume 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Then we also have Last Night Vampire Night Illustrations and The Art of Vampire Night, all by Matsuri Hino. Then we also have Ice Blue Sin and Fleeting Dreams by Ayana Fujitsuki. We have now reached shelf three of my second bookshelf and it contains all mangas. Rose and Maiden Volume 1 by Peach Pit, Akana Volume 1, 4, 5, and 6 by So Young Lee, The Tarot Cafe Volume 1, 2, 3, and 4 by Sang Sun Park, Captive Hearts Volume 1, 2, and 4 by Matsuri Hino, Arm of Cannon Volume 2, 3, 4, and five by Masakusa Yamaguchi. Moving on, we have the entire collective works of Nana by Ayazawa, which consists of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21 volumes. The third shelf on the second bookcase is a bit of a mishmash of tall books and manga. The Art of Loish, A Look Behind the Scenes by the artist Loish. News from the Dead by Mary Hooper. Urban Newton and The Red Queen by Isabel Camodi. The Passion of Delasa by Julie Berry. Flawed P.S. I Love You by Cecilia Heron. Our Vietnam Nurses by Annabelle Braley. Soundless by Rochelle Mead. Magnus Chase and the Sword of Summer by Rick Riordan. Then we have the completed works of Oren High School Host Club by Visto Hattori. This includes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 volumes. And finally we come to the fifth shelf on the second bookcase, which I have organised by height. 13 Reasons Why by J. Asher. The Siren by Kira Cass. All the Bright Places by Jennifer Nevin. Dreamfire and Dream Fever by Kit Alloy. The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. Generation Dead. 
Simon vs. the Homo Sapien Agenda by Becky Albacali, The Identity Man by Andrew Clavan, The Killing Moon by N.K. Jemison, Hush Hush, Crescendo, Silence, and Finale by Becca Fitzpatrick, Unwanted by Amanda Hollowell, Broken Sky by L.A. Weatherly, Let's Get Lost by Addie Alicet, Dead Beautiful, and Life Eternal by Yvonne Woon, The Dogs by Alan Stratton, Fallen, Torment, Passion, Fallen in Love, Rapture, and Unforgiven by Lauren Kate, The Complete Tyrell Trilogy, Frostfire, and Crystal Kingdom by Amanda Hocking. Okay, and finally we have the third bookshelf. This bookshelf is mostly organised by size or random books that just didn't fit on my other bookshelves. Top shelf is made up of my adult magic books, mostly. Scared of Santa by Denise Joyce and Nancy Watkins. Magician, Silverthorn, and A Darkness at Sethanon by Raymond E. Feist. Horn of Prophecy, Queen of Sorcery, Magician's Gambit, Castle of Wizardry, Enchanter's Endgame, Guardians of the West, King of the Murgos, Demon Lord of Karanda, Sorceress of Darshipa, Seeress of Kelf, Belgarath the Sorcerer, Polgara the Sorceress, The Riven Codex, The Elder Gods, The Treasured One, Crystal Gorge, The Younger Gods, and The Redemption of Athelus by David Eddings, The Children of Hurin by J.R.R. Tolkien, The Passage by Justin Cronin, moving on to the second shelf. This shelf was organised purely to try and make the box set in the middle look attractive. Anita Blake, Vampire Hunter by Laurel K. Hamilton, The Legacy of Lord Regret, The Lord of Lies by Sam Bowen. One Tiny Lie by K.A. Tucker. Now we have the entire Beatrix Potter collection, which includes The Tale of Peter Rabbit, The Tale of Squirrel Nutkin, The Tailor of Gloucester, The Tale of Benjamin Bunny, The Tale of Two Bad Mice, The Tale of Mrs. Tiggy Winkle, The Tale of Mr. Jeremy Fisher, The Tale of Tom Kitten, the Tale of Jemima Puddle Duck, The Tale of the Flopsy Bunnies, The Tale of Mrs. Tittlemouse, The Tale of Timmy Tiptoes, The Tale of Johnny Town Mouse, The Tale of Mr. Todd, The Tale of Pigling Bland, The Tale of Samuel Whiskers, The Tale of the Pie and the Patty Pan, The Tale of Ginger and Pickles, the Tale of Little Pig Robinson, The Story of a Fierce Bad Rabbit, The Story of Miss Moppet, Appley Dappley's Nursery Rhymes, and Sicily Parsley Nursery Rhymes, Demon Road, and Desolation by Derek Landy, Passenger by Alexander Bracken, Looking for Alaska by John Green. Now we move on to the third shelf, which is organised by size. The Horse Whisperer by Nicholas Evans. Grimoire by Kim Wilkins. A Game of Thrones, A Clash of Kings. A Storm of Swords, Steel and Snow. A Storm of Swords, Blood and Gold. Feast for Crow. A Dance with Dragons, Dreams and Dust, and A Dance with Dragons After the Feast by George R. R. Martin. A Cold Midnight by Joyce Lamb, A Hunger Like No Other, and Shadows Claim by Cresley Cole. Icarus by Russell Andrews, Tith by Holly Black, The Marvelous Land of Oz by L. Frank Baum, The Story of the Treasure Seekers by E. Nesbitt, the Quicksand Pony by Alison Lester, Ride the Wild Wind by Jackie French, A Whisper of Eternity, After Sundown, The Captive, Shades of Grey, and Desire After Dark by Amanda Ashley, A Dangerous Desire, and Dark Passions by Una Mary Parker.
Fleur by Richard Tresselin, False Impression by Geoffrey Archer, Tell Me Your Dreams, Nothing Lasts Forever, and Are You Afraid of the Dark by Sidney Sheldon. Now we move on to the fourth shelf, which again is arranged by height. Watership Down by Richard Adams, Evolution of Inanimate Objects by Harry Kalinsky, The Memory Keeper's Daughter by Kim Edwards, Die For Me by Karen Rose, What She Left by T.R. Richmond, Skin Privilege by Karen Slaughter, Heart Shaped Box by Joe Hill, Heart Sick by Chelsea Kane, Chameleon by Mark Burnell, Prey by Michael Crichton, Contest by Matthew Riley, One False Move by Alex Cover, Dark Secrets by Elizabeth Chandler, Saint Anything by Sarah Desen, Half Bad and Half Wild by Sally Green, Promise of the Wolves by Dorothy Hurst, True Crime and The Uncanny by Andrew Clavan, Lair by James Herbert, Losing You by Nikki French, Labyrinth by Kate Modes, A Single Stone by Meg McKinley, Deep End of the Ocean by Jacqueline Mitchell, The Demon's Lexicon by Sarah Reese Brennan, Looking for Alibrandi by Melina Machetta, If I Should Die Before I Wake by Michelle Morris, and finally we move on to the final shelf of the last bookcase. I'm not going to go through every single book on this shelf as it does contain a lot of textbooks and a lot of arbitrary books like extra books from movies or books that I was given when I was in primary school. So I will just do the ones I feel you will be interested in. The Tales of Beadle the Bard and The Casual Vacancy by J.K. Rowling. The Last Falcon by Colleen Rutten. A House Without Mirrors by Martin Sandon, The Forest of Hands and Teeth by Carrie Ryan, Unlikely Friendships by Jennifer Holland, Art Made from Books by Lara Heinger, Hunting Down Amanda by Andrew Clavan, Hideaway by Dean R. Kuntz, Tomo and Hawk by Bryce Courtney, The Vampire by Tom Holland, The Enchanted Forest by Joanna Basford, and Pippi Longstockings by Astrid Lindgren. For those of you who are interested in the books that are not being shown, or in the books that have not been shown in this particular tour, I have posted previous hauls on my blog, which I will link down below, and I will also be doing some video hauls over the next couple of weeks, maybe next month, there'll be one for publishers have sent me books, one books I've gotten of my own accord, and I will also be doing a birthday unboxing and book haul. So look forward to those in the future, and I hope to see you all then. Till next time.